Uh, my name is Greg Gage. I'm the co-founder with Tim Marzullo of Backyard Brains, a neuroscience company for the masses. Okay, and you have <laughs> a lot of different products. Here. Yeah. So yeah, what we do is we make we try to uh, we try to take what you did in graduate school if you went to grad school and make it available for anyone in the classroom. So like these are bio amplifiers, which are normally like you know ten thousand dollar rigs that you sit on large shelves and we make it so that you know kids in in fifth grade, sixth grade, all the way up to graduate school can actually do this. So this records neurons. Uh, so this is like the it's an amplifier that can you know, record the little tiny spikes from neurons. And this is recording from humans. This is the EMG or the the uh, the electromyograms. And so we have yeah these are just two channel versions of that. We have remote controlled cockroaches, um, which sort of teach about a little bit deeper about neuroscience. So this is like how does deep brain stimulation work, for yeah. example. And it uses. Uh, Microstimulation uh, of neurons to get these neurons to fire. So these are the the robo roaches, and so right now, if you look inside the antenna, uh, we have a small wire going inside of the antenna, and that's our that's our brain machine interface. Okay. Hey, little so, guy. Hey. Aww. And so what happens is when he's when he's walking, uh, his antenna normally senses the outside world, and when it touches something, it wants to kind of move in the contralateral direction. And so what we do is with the backpack, we send a little message into the antenna to make the neurons think it's touching something, and then it'll move in the opposite direction. And he likes me. Yeah, he does. Let me go into the app here. I don't want to... Okay. He's over on my shoe. All right, so we push the button to wake it up. Whoopsie. Oh! Okay. That's all right. We'll, con we'll control it in a second. Actually, Will, we tested this guy? Nope. <laughs> Live fire test. Brian might be the first person to test this roach. Yeah. So go ahead and swipe your finger left or right. What? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, can you swipe it next to the little guy? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh my God, that's really cool. Mind control. Weird science. All right. So what's happening? So you, you notice it's turning away from the light, right? And so what it thinks is right now it thinks well, it's brushing something against something. And you're also noticing that it's adapting, right? So after yeah. a while it doesn't respond as, as well as it used to. He doesn't like that. So after about five minutes, this he will completely ignore it and he, he regains his free will. Yeah. Just, which is cool because that's what brains do. The brains adapt. And so it sort of teaches all these kind of neat neuroscience principles uh, right there in this little one little experiment. Okay. Now we've got you hooked up. You've got two electrodes here. So it's like a positive and a negative. Uh, and we're, this is a, a ground reference, and so when we turn on the speaker, here, what your brain is doing, squeeze. So that noise you're hearing in the background is your brain firing these exercises. Okay, so yeah. what we can do now is do something even better. Uh, can I have another volunteer? You want to do it? What's your name? Jason. Jason, do you want to be part of this? Sure. Alright, so what, what we can do is try and control you. Oh, okay. Uh, what? This is awesome. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, tap into your ulnar nerve. So we're going to put the electrode right here. Alright. And right here. And... So um, I have a brain too? Yeah, you have a brain too, but now... But you, also, you also have free will, which is... Uh, For now. Something we, we want to get rid of, right? Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take your free will away and give it to Brian. Uh, and so what's going to happen is when, so when Brian, I oh, squeeze your hand, so you notice when that red light comes on, that's, that's, that's when you want him to move, all right? So you're going to control that with your hand, and then we're going to hit your ulnar nerve, which makes your hand sort of contract right here, so these three fingers. And what happens is when we fire the electrode between here, it's going to cause a neuron to fire, which causes these things to contract. And so when he moves his hand, you'll move your hand, even though you don't want to, all right? Can you can Brian make Jason give away like free beagle bones or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. You can put his hand on a on a, on a he, uh, he hits the click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Keep the mouse away from me right now. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll hook you up there. Hook you up here. I don't think my PayPal can take it. So yeah. what we're gonna do is we're gonna amplify the electricity from one brain and send it into another brain. Weird science. Yeah. Try to find it. So oh yeah, that's a good question. Here. All right, so I want you, first of all, to start off with, I just want you to relax your hands. I'm bleeding this, it's just hitting off. Uh, so you can, even, you can even close your eyes right now, so you don't know. Okay, so I don't know when he's gonna do it. Hypnosis is totally real. So go ahead and do it. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Are we sure we're not just shocking him? No, no, that, wasn't, that wasn't even the. All right. That wasn't even the reaction. All right. Now I'm used to it. Okay. So you gotta chill out, right, Jason? Oh. oh. Crap. Oh. So. Right. 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 There we go. Okay. 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 Well, I'll see you in better electro. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's try it this way. Okay. You guys ready? I'm not ready. I'll never okay. be ready. It's like it's like. <laughs> So basically, we're just shocking Jason. I got right muscle twitching down there. You gotta, okay, I just, think your ulnar nerve is connected to your stomach somehow. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's telling your brain to go drink beer right now, like your shirt says. There we go. Oh, really? All right. <laughs> That's so. What's happening right now? So Brian, so it, Brian's brain wants him to, to control it his for a hand. second. Can you sustain it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a good one. Um. Okay. So, um, what I'm doing is called optogenetics. And that's basically what um, that means is that you can use um, genetics to actually kind of insert a, um, a light sensitive ion channel into target neurons in an organism's nervous system. And then what that does is that when you actually um, use, use the light source that that particular ion channel is sensitive to, with you can activate um, key behaviors in actual um, nervous cir or, yeah, neural circuits in an organism with like millisecond precision and you, it's really, really, really fun. Okay, so here I was testing some, um, some, different, some different pulse widths and frequencies. And so this is with a more reliable 100 millisecond pulse width. And you're gonna notice, so the fly, this is the fly right here. And it has this, um, it's basically a really long tube or a straw called a proboscis that when it, when it steps or it senses something that it, that it wants to eat, it just reflexively shoots it out in the, into whatever it wants to be. And so the proboscis is gonna shoot up that way. And this is a video of me actually testing that. So every time that light comes on, it thinks it's tasting something. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah, okay. So now we know, so the, the reason why I do this is like a uh, experiment. So you, now we know that particular neuron is, is involved in this behavior. So now you can start to keep this. This is like an awesome tool for neuroscience. Is targeted one particular neuron is invoking a behavior, which is really cool. So, yeah.